We begin with a far sort update. A trial is now underway for the Door County man accused of starting this fire in February of 2022, which killed two people and burned down a historic building in Sturgeon Bay. Anthony Gonzalez faces counts of second degree reckless homicide and second degree recklessly endangering safety. He's pleaded not guilty. Emily Byer was at jury selection today and joins us live from Sturgeon Bay with an update. So Emily, how long did it take to pick the jury today? Yeah, Brittany, as you can imagine here in Door County, this is a really rural area. A lot of towns are spread out and there's not as many people. So a lot of people know each other and they know of each other. Um, several uh, questions by the prosecutor and the defense today were had you had you ever heard of Butch's Bar? Everybody raised their hand. So a lot of people uh, knew a lot of different people, but the big uh, portion that they focus on obviously is that you remain impartial to that. You know, they asked other questions about, you know, law enforcement. Do you have uh, relatives that work at the courthouse? Lots of different questions. And again, a lot of people uh, knew a lot of different people. So that was the one thing that they focused on and making sure that they could find uh, people that could be that could be impartial. Uh, that took all the way up until noon, actually, and a lot of people were dismissed. More than a dozen jurors, I actually lost count, um, more than a dozen jurors were uh, dismissed through that questioning. Gotcha. So once the jury was picked, did they move right into opening statements? And can you walk us through what the arguments were? Yeah, so today we went through opening statements, heard from the state and the defense, and then we also did hear some testimony. I'll talk a little bit about that in just a moment. Uh, but opening statements, we got to hear uh, the state kind of lay out what they are accusing Anthony Gonzalez of. Um, they really ask that the jury listen to all of the evidence, but make sure that they uh, don't listen to what the defense has to say. And the defense is saying that uh, they're saying that, you know, this this happened, but proving that it was reckless and if it's reckless, if that uh, is also criminal. Uh, so they went about a lot of those different particulars, a lot of the verbiage, the um, law verbiage that is uh, within the court system too was very important as well. So they went through both of those arguments and both of them obviously going to be fighting to see their point of view. And that's what we got to see again. Some of that testimony that we saw was from uh, one of the first responding officers. We'll show um, a little bit of video about uh, later at five o'clock tonight. Um, but we got to see one of those uh, first responding officers and seeing the confusion just from this fire, how big it was. Um, there was a lot going on, and so that's what we got to see, and that's what we're going to likely see here through the next week, week and a half. All right, Emily, thanks so much for your quick information on day one of the trial.